Oh, sorry, I'm just listening to my new album. What I Want to Be When I Grow Up. You should buy it. It's on iTunes and CD Baby. Anyway, so we've already announced who our tributes are for the Broadway edition of The Hunger Games. Oh, I'm going to really have to lower this. Nikki Renee Daniels sounds lovely, but got to lower it. Um, so today, this is going to be completely live. So a lot of people have been saying, who am I going to get matched up against? Uh, I got all the names right here. So I'm going to actually just pull them for the first time. So we're going to see who's going to be pitted against who in this tournament. It's going to be very fun. No one knows the results of this. Not me. And not Broadway Spotted. The reality of it is no one even knows who the hell Broadway Spotted is. It could be like Bernadette Peters. Which I hope it's not because she owes me money. <laughs> okay. So first up. We have, from District Lion King, R. Bender Robinson. So who's R. Bender going to be teamed up against in the big battle? Let's see. Jersey Boys' is Andy Package Carl. So R. Bender and Andy Carl are the very first of the battles against each other from the districts of Lion King and Jersey Boys. All right, so our next battle, celebrating a birthday very soon, is from District Ghost, Casey Levy. And Casey Levy will be up against, oh, this is a girl against girl battle. That's good. So District Leap of Faith, Jessica Phillips. So Casey Levy will be battling against Jessica Phillips. They're both very sweet. I don't know how they're going to battle each other. Maybe they'll riff each other out. Um, okay, so from District Mamma Mia is my girl, Lisa Brescia. She's not like my girl. I'm still so homosexual. And like anyone down to that. Oh, this is good. From District Book of Mormon, she's up against Rory O'Malley. Another one of my girls. Actually, we don't know each other. We, we did actually meet once, but I was completely wasted. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that story. So, maybe he was my girl for the night. I don't remember. I hope he had fun, though. Call me. All right, our next ones are going to be from Jesus Christ Superstar, Jeremy Kushner. And he will be battling up against... God spells Morgan James, so it is like a Jesus off. Well, not technically. Isn't Jeremy Judas? And Morgan is not Jesus? So it's like a Morgan Judas off. Right? I'm going to Morgan your Judas off. I'm going to Judas your Morgan off. I'm going to eat a hot dog. I don't even know what the hell that meant. Okay. From the district of once, we have Steve Kazee. And Steve... So, from anything goes... Jonathan Groff. Just joking, but did you guys see that video on Playbill.com? It's amazing. Him doing anything goes at the miscast. Oh my god, just watch it. I mean, he's sweating up a storm. And he needs a little Botox under there. But he's still adorable, and I would totally cuddle with him. Call me. From Anything Goes, Brandon Rubendal. Did I say, do I say your name right? I'm not sure if I'm saying it. Is it Rubendal or Rubendal? Brandon Rubendal. Or Brandon Rubendal. I hope I'm saying it right, because I noticed that you're following me on Twitter now up against each other now from Wicked. It's Donna DeVito. She's really good on submissions only, by the way. Good job, Donna. And if you're not watching it, watch it. It's really good. One of our other tributes, Andrew Keenan Bulger, is the creator of it with the wonderful Kate Weatherhead. And it's really amazing. And she does a really fantastic job. Okay, that's my rant. Ooh, this one's good. 
Oh, I like this one. So, Donna Vivino is going to be battling up against Avita's Ricky Martin. Let's see. This is going to be really interesting because we have, like, theater, and then we have pop theater. Let's see which one wins, theater or pop Latin salsa theater. <sighs> okay. Next up in the battle... It's from District How to Succeed in Equus Without Really Trying, Nick Jonas. Did you get that joke? You see? You see what I did? How to Succeed in Equus Without Really Trying because he replaced Daniel Rett. You got it, right? Really bad joke. And he is up against, is up against Memphis's Montego Glover. Another interesting pairing. You know, you have Virgin Nick Jonas here. Up against, like, Broadway royalty. What can I have in here? Virgin. I mean, I don't want to declare if she's a virgin or not. But royalty. Okay, up next, from District the Phantom, it's Paloma Garcia Lee. It's up against. And the battles... From Rock of Ages, Emily Padgett. So, let's see who's going to win in these, this little battle. Which is sort of interesting, because these are two names that I actually can't pronounce either. So, I hope that I did a good job with them. Oh, okay. I mean, let's talk about royalty for a second. We have, from District Porgy and Bess, Audra McDonald. I mean, I really love her. Like, It's okay that she didn't ever email me back. Didn't hurt my feelings or anything. I mean, I don't check my junk mail. Every, not that she would ever be in... No, she would never be... I'm not saying she would be in my junk mail. I'm just saying, like... I should stop talking. So for District Porgy and Bess, we have Broadway royalty, Audra McDonald. And also, she, you know, she's a television star as well. And if you've ever seen her just, like, walking down the street, this is one of those people that I've never met before in my life, but you, she looks like royalty. Like, she just walks down the street and you're like, oh, that's royalty. You just know that's royalty. She's up against Mary Poppins, Gavin Lee. All right, so this is actually interesting as well. So we have Broadway royalty here in Audrey McDonald. And she's up against West End's, now starring on Broadway, Gavin Lee. All right, from District Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I actually was hoping it was going to be called Priscilla Queen of the Dessert. Because it technically is dessert. When you have Nick Adams. Hello, Nick. From Priscilla, District Priscilla, Nick Six Pack Adams is up against, oh, this is good, District Sister Axe, Marla Mandel. I sort of would love some backstory on how things are going with Raven Simone. Seems like a very interesting pairing up there. So we're going to have District Priscilla with Nick Adams up against crazy bitch Marla Mandel. That's something she would declare upon herself. And her, she's been tweeting up a storm about, you know, the fact that she will murder someone. So from District, nice work if you can get it. We have Jody Benson. Just joking. We have Kelly O'Hara. After, this is the second joke that I've made about that show, referencing another show. I don't think anyone in that show, well, they would never have worked with me anyway, so it's totally fine. This totally works. Fine with it. And she is up against Spider-Man's and another show that I can totally make jokes about, right? Except it's already open, so they, and they're doing well. Spider-Man, okay, so Kelly O'Hara is up against Christina Saju. Am I saying her name right? I just keep on saying it with a Jew at the end. Saju. Is that right? I hope so. The last person in this entire list... Where did I put it? Oh, I know who it is anyway. It's from uh, Newsies, Andrew Keenan Bolger, who is, you know, the brother of Celia uh, Keenan Bolger. 
and uh, also one of the co-creators of uh, that wonderful show that I was talking about with uh, Kate we Weatherhead, um, Submissions Only. I couldn't think of it off the top of my head. I'm getting old, so I can't really think as fast as I used to. So I just went to the website of, sorry, I'm just going to do this. I, is it too close up? Do I look okay? Andrew Keenan Bulger is now up against Jason Patrick Sands, who is in Chicago. I'm throwing him in as a tribute. The two of them are up against each other. Who's going to win? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you something. May the, the best person win for these battles. And um, come visit and see and vote and vote for your favorites. And, uh, you know, I know well, this is the Hunger Games. I guess technically you should be as mean as possible. Try not to be too mean on the message boards or, or via tweet, you know. I mean, play, playfully mean. But don't be, you know, arrogantly mean. Um, sorry, that's just my little rant. I like to throw some kindness into the world. Um, and that's basically it. So we'll see who wins. I'm very excited. And may you tap dance your way out of the arena. That's, that's the slogan we're going with. It's Passover coming up, and I think we announced this on Passover. As a Jew, I should be excited about this. It's the Hunger Passover Games. You need to find the Appy Coleman. That should be the game. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Let's not battle up against each other. Let's just find the Appy Coleman. I love it. My mother would be so proud. Now I just need to marry a doctor. I, I don't know who's going to win. Not even on Passover. But we can ask... Jesus, no, what was it called? Judas, I'm going to Judas your Morgan off. We can ask, uh, let's ask Judas your Morgan off. That actually sounds like something you would eat on Passover. Ah, can you pass the Judas your Morgan off? <laughs>